Good day. This is module two, presenting vectors in the plane, specifically parallel vectors and some solving problems. So we have here the definition of parallel vectors. It says here, two non-zero vectors U and V are parallel if there is some scalar C such that U equals C times V. So we know that graphically, parallel vectors are vectors which are drawn in your x and y axis. So suppose this is your vector A, or rather vector U and vector V. So we can see that these two vectors are parallel. These two vectors may have the same length or may have different lengths. That's why we have here scalar that represents the multiplier of the length of the original vector u or maybe vector v. We can also represent parallel vectors in three-dimensional space. So we have this as x, y, z axis. Then we have our two vectors, vector u and vector v. So we can say that these two vectors again are parallel. Let us work on this example. So we have the first problem, determine which of the following vectors is R parallel to Z whose components we have it as 3, 2, negative 5. So we have here the given vector. Let's have this as vector u, whose components we have it as negative 6, negative 4, 10. So evaluating if these two vectors are parallel, so again, for letter A, we have the given vector Z equals 3, 2, negative 5. Then the given vector here, negative 6, negative 4, 10 as its component, let this be as our vector U. So we have it as negative 6, negative 4, 10. So let's have the concept a while ago that we have vector u equals c times z. So we can say that the two vectors u and z are parallel if there is some scalar c. So we're going to find what is this c. So with that, let us check our given vector. So we have vector u again as negative 6, negative 4, 10. So we can have common factor, like we can determine the common factor for these numbers here, which is negative two. So if I have this as negative two as common factor for these three numbers, so we cannot divide each component by negative two, we have it as three, two, negative five. So that is negative 6 over negative 2 is 3, negative 4 over negative 2 is 2, 10 over negative 2 is negative 5. So as we can see, we have here your vectors equals 3, 2, negative 5. So we have also that component in your vector u. And with that, we can now write this as negative 2 times c. So as we have defined earlier, that if we have Parallel vectors, we must have the equation u equals c times a, where c is a scalar. So it satisfies our even concept, which is equal c, c times a on our given problem. So in here, our c is negative 2. So we can say that in conclusion, vector u is parallel to Say. 
for the second problem here, letter B. So the given vector is two four thirds negative thirds or negative 10 thirds. So we let that be again as our vector u. We have it as two four thirds negative 10 thirds. So in here, uh, the components are different from one another, but they can have common factor again. And it can be trial and error. Unlike in the first example, we can easily identify the common factor. So here it's a trial and error. So let us check if we can have common factor, which is maybe two thirds because we have here, the denominator on your second and third component is three. So let's check if this is two thirds. Then obtain now the components of your vector u multiplying with two thirds. So you divide again the original component of your vector u by two thirds. So we can have this as two thirds divided by, or rather two divided by two thirds that will be equal to three. Four thirds divided by two thirds that will be equal to two. The negative 10 thirds divided by two thirds that will be equal to negative five. You may verify it using your calculator. So you just divide two over two thirds that is three. 4 thirds over 2 thirds is 2, then negative 10 thirds over 2 thirds is negative 5. So if we're going to check the given vector z, whose components we have it as 3, 2, negative 5, right here. So we can see that our vector u is 2 thirds of z, and that your c is equal to 2 thirds. So since you satisfy again the condition that u equals c times a, you can see that vector u is parallel to z for our second example, for letter b example in problem a. For problem number two, it says here, use vectors to determine whether the points Four negative two seven, negative two zero three seven negative three nine are collinear. So let us identify these points as point A, B, and C. So point A, we have the coordinates four negative two seven. Point B, we have it as negative two zero three. And point C is equal to or we have the coordinates seven, negative three, nine. So we have the concept last time about collinear. We see that three points lying on the same line are collinear. So again, three points lying on the same line are said to be collinear. So graphically, if we have here now our line, then you have here three points on it. So we can see that these three points are collinear because they are lying on the same line. But how are we going to verify it analytically? Of course, this is graphical representation for points lying on the same line which are collinear. So what you will do is to obtain the uh, components of your AB, vector AB, vector AC, and vector BC. If these are your points A, B, C. So we can do that. So let's now find the components of your vector AB. So again, we have initial point is A, point B is a terminal. So we have to get all the components, negative two minus four, we have it as negative six. 0 minus minus 2 is positive 2. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. In AC, we have it 7 minus 4 
is 3. We have A is the initial point. Terminal point is C, negative 3 minus, minus 2. That's negative 1. Then 9 minus 7 is 2. In B, C, we have C as the terminal. B is the initial 7 minus minus 2. That is 9. Negative 3 minus 0 is negative 3. Then we have it as 9 minus 3. That is 6. So we can reduce the components of your vector A, B, and B, C. Common, we have it as, if I have here common factors negative 2. So we can divide all the components by negative 2. That will give you 3, negative 1, 2. Then here we have common is uh, 3. So 9, negative 3, 6 divided by 3, that will give you 3, negative 1, 2 also. As you can see, we have the components of AC is negative 2 times AC, and BC is 3 times AC. So with that, these three points having common components, and we have negative 2 and 3 as scalars for AB and BC for AC, we can now say that, in conclusion, the three points are collinear.